Cancer, hello. My name is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. This will be your love reading, Cancer. And we're going to do your love reading a little different. We're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. And we're going to take a look at the connection. Their deep, true, hidden feelings about you and this connection. Cancer. Now, in the comment section, if you enjoy the spread, please comment below uh, so that I know to kind of incorporate this spread into my readings. And Cancer, let's take a look at your energy. We have remove the limiting labels you're wearing for you, for your person. We have journal it out, write how you feel. <clears throat> At the bottom we have Breathe in bliss. Exhale the bullshit. So, let's take a look at some more energy before I, I interpret what these cards mean. For you, Cancer, we have intuition and downloads. For your person, we have angelic protection. And one more card. <clears throat> For you, Cancer, we have perfection. For your person, we have quest. And at the bottom, we have creation. Okay, Cancer. Let's take a look at these cards. Cancer, remove the limiting labels you're wearing. You may have some limiting, limiting beliefs that you're kind of working through. Um, I feel like you're trying to overcome these beliefs. You're trying to create yourself new. And I feel like right now you're a very spiritual person. I feel like you're having a lot of intuition. Um, you may ha be having dreams, downloads that are giving you messages, that are providing you with information, um, information that's very important to you. Um, maybe journaling is very important. Um, to write down how you're feeling in the morning or how you're feeling after you dream to see and interpret what those dreams are telling you your spirit your higher source you know whatever it is that you believe in is speaking to you through your dreams so those dreams are very significant we also have perfection so I feel like you hold yourself to a very high standard cancer I feel like you may hold yourself to too high of a standard you know I feel like it's weighing really deep on you maybe that's why we have this removing limiting beliefs um, kind of setting yourself free from those beliefs that may be binding you and you're not even realizing it for your person we have journal it out right how you feel so i feel like i feel like your person may be writing you a letter they may be sending you some kind of communication some kind of information to let you know exactly how they feel they're like pouring their heart out to you and i i feel like you're kind of just accepting it 
with those limiting beliefs, you know? I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back from a situation that can be very beautiful. Your person has angelic protection. So your person may be very spiritual as well. <clears throat> they may be really focused on their spiritual side. They may be looking to their higher self for knowledge, for wisdom, for spiritual guidance and protection. Because your person is going on a quest. They're going on some kind of discovery. They're searching for, you know, the person that they want to be with. You may not know this person yet. You know, this may be someone who's coming, who you haven't met, who is searching for you. And you're doing these changes. These downloads may be telling you who, when, where that you will meet this person. So pay attention to your dreams. I feel like they're very significant. They're very significant. Um, I feel like they'll give you a lot of information. You'll gain a lot of clarity from those downloads that you're receiving. Okay, okay, Cancer. Now we're going to use like three different tarot decks. One for you, one for your person, and one for your connection. So, for you, we have the devil. Yeah, those are those limiting beliefs, Cancer. They're binding you. They're holding you back. They're stopping you from gaining what, what it is you're looking to achieve. Those limiting beliefs are stopping you. They're holding you down. They've got you chained to those beliefs, you know? So it's time to remove those limiting beliefs. Those things that are holding you back. Okay, for you we also have the Three of Wands. So I feel like Cancer with the Three of Wands... You're looking for your ship to come in. You're looking for this person to find you. You're searching. You're searching. You're soul searching. And we have the five of wands. Yeah. And I feel like you're... With the three of wands and the five of wands, I feel like you, you, you're struggling right now, Cancer. You're going through these struggles, but you're still hopeful. You're still hopeful that things will get better because you have the Queen of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like with the Queen of Cups, you're like dipping your toes in the emotions of love. You're dipping your toes to kind of test the waters, you know? Yeah, you have the Emperor. So you have the ability to take control. You have the ability to control what it is that's binding you. And I, I feel like you're gaining wisdom to do that. You're going through these struggles, but you're like getting wore down by the struggles that you're going through. And you're, you're like wanting your power back. You're wanting to take your power. You're wanting to... <clears throat> Remove the things that are holding you back because you have the the king of Pentacles on the bottom So I feel like with the king of Pentacles you, you want to stand on solid ground you want this Practical abundant life, you know filled with happiness joy satisfaction, but also loyalty and practicality um, I, I feel like you, you just want something solid that's going to have your back, you know? Um, yeah, the Queen of Swords. Okay. You're trying so hard to gain the knowledge of the situation. But you want total honesty. You don't want to hear those lies. I feel like you've heard those lies all before. You want somebody to 
come towards you, to step to you. <clears throat> who's very honest, very thoughtful. Someone who's smart and giving, you know. I feel like you want someone who's going to cut straight to the truth. You know, and not hold anything back. You know, we have the we have the Queen of Cups again. Definitely. Definitely. You're looking for that that soul person. You're following your intuition. You are looking for that love that's everlasting. You know? You're looking for someone who will follow you, who will support you through healing through any struggle you know someone who's really going to be there to hold you up to like make you stronger and love you endlessly you know i feel like you have a lot of emotions about the person that you're looking for for your person let's take a look at your person for your person we have the justice card We have the Six of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords. Wow. Beautiful. You know, this person, everything that I described over here, your person wants this as well. Your person wants someone who's going to balance them. Someone who's going to tip the scales in their favor but someone who's also going to be honest and true someone who's gonna like support them no matter what you know with the justice card this is all about cause and effect so this this person is looking for truth they're looking for honesty they're looking to give the same thing that they get, you know, and that's the same with the Six of Pentacles. With the Six of Pentacles, this is equal give and take. This is equal distribution. This is balanced, you know, and I feel like this person wants to give you the satisfaction of having a balanced relationship. To have someone give to you the same energy. The same love, the same giving, the same patience as you give that person, you know. And we see that with this Page of Swords. With this Page of Swords, this is curiosity. This is also them maybe looking you up. If you know this person already, they're, they're looking at you. They're kind of watching you from afar, you know. They're watching how you move, watching how you carry yourself this person also wants honesty this is a very um, curious person they may be very nosy I'm going to tell you that right now they may be very nosy but they're nosy because they're seeking the truth they, they want to know what you're about yeah and this person has had their heart broken before they've been through a lot of pain they've been through a lot of grief you know they've lost something very close to them and they're, they're looking to create something new something boundless something furious you know that they're, they're looking to create something very focused They want something that is very resourceful, honest, true, daring. You know, that they want somebody who's special enough to not be like everyone else. But special enough to love them the most, you know. This person is, yeah, definitely. This person is healing. They're finding their balance. But I feel like this person, 
you know, they have their self-control. They know how to hold themselves back. They know how to carry themselves. They're not triggered by certain situations. They know how to keep their calm. And this person has a lot of hope for the future. A hope, a hope that things work out in their favor with this Justice card. Beautiful energy, Cancer. Okay, now let's take a look at this combined connection. Let's take a look at this combined connection, Cancer. For you, we have the Page of Pentacles. For them. Oh, wow. Okay. For them, we have the King of Wands and the Strength card. So you... You want someone young, carefree, someone who's very practical and down to earth. Someone who will have your back, you know. Um, someone who's open to communicate. Now your person, your person is looking for someone with, with fire. Someone who's very bold, very daring. Someone who is very attractive but also someone who cares deeply about themselves and knows how to care deeply about others they're also looking for a very strong person looking for someone who is capable of unconditional love Someone who is courageous and fearless. You know, that's that's what they're looking for. That's their hidden feelings. Um, Cancer, for you, we have the Five of Wands. And I believe we have that. Yeah, we have it twice. Wow. <clears throat> for them, <laughs> we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm not going to lie to you, Cancer. I feel like you, for you, love is a struggle. Love is a hard thing to acquire. It's hard to keep, hard to control, hard to hold on to. And I feel like maybe you've had a lot of bad luck with love. That's the reason why the Five of Wands came out twice. I feel like you feel like it's a huge struggle for you to take control, for you to you know, be able to be bound to one person. But I feel like your person, your person is looking for that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Your person sees value in you. You know, they see value in the relationship that you create, in the, in the building of the relationship. They find it priceless, long-lasting, you know, something that's going to last a lifetime. They find a lot of happiness in love. For you, we have the chariot. For your person, we have the four of wands. Wow. So with the chariot and the four of wands, the chariot is all about movement, but it's all about movement. Trusting in the universe, trusting in your path, trusting your intuition to lead you in the right direction. So it's all about trust that you're going the right way, you know. And I feel like this movement that you're going in is leading you into this right direction. It's leading you away from the struggle and towards your destiny, towards your life purpose towards the path that's truly meant for you. For your person, your person is looking for that celebration. Look, we have the Ten of Pentacles over the Four of Wands. This person is looking for something traditional. They're looking for marriage. They're looking for family, for celebration, for, you know, unions. Homecomings, you know. Your person is looking for that 
that lifetime of happiness. I'm going to take one more card. Oh, for you. Wow. So, Cancer, I feel like you are seeing the big picture. You're seeing the big picture and you're moving in the right direction because you are feeling an abundance of love, an abundance of emotions. I feel like you're more open to love, you know, you're open to accepting, open to receiving, you're just, these feelings are just emotional, they're gratifying, you know, the, the Ace of Cups, it's love overflowing, but it can also be a proposal, a marriage, you know, um, it can also be a new relationship. Or it can be a new baby on the way. So, let's see. What do we have for your person? Wow. Okay. So, your person has the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So, your person sees this union. They may see it before you do. The King of Wands is united with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very fiery, very assertive, very go-getting, you know. And she is followed by her tuition. Her cat represents her tuition. And her not being afraid to follow it. You know, she's also very attractive, very beautiful, very giving. This is a very feisty person, someone who's very confident. Definitely. Beautiful energy, Cancer. Very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Okay, let's take some love cards. Let's see what the love cards have to say <clears throat> okay cancer what do we have for cancer for you we have the hammer sabotage rebuilding integration repetitive persistence working on it yeah so I feel like you may not be sabotaging yourself, but you are working on it. That's the reason why your perspective is changing. You're moving in the right direction. You're moving away from your struggle, and you're moving more into your fulfillment. That's beautiful energy, Cancer. Very beautiful energy. For your person, we have seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interaction. So yeah, your person, they've got a little nasty side to them. They're, they're looking for seduction. They, they want to just seduce you into the situation. At the bottom, we have ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So I feel like you're growing in the situation, Cancer. You're learning what it takes to get what you want. And I feel like you're going for it. You're learning new ways to love, new ways to control your emotions, new ways to remove your limiting beliefs. You're just focusing on your future and what you want it to be. Okay, Cancer, uh, let's take a look at what this person wants to say. Let's take a look at what this person wants to say. This person has unresolved wounds. Be careful with their heart. This person is saying it's complicated. Uh, 
but they want to forgive. Clear your energy. They're trying to ground themselves. They're trying to free themselves from this Deborah energy too. They're trying to clear what's what's going on with them, you know? I still love you. This may be someone from the past. This may be someone you already know. They feel guilty. Wow. And this is just the beginning. So they definitely, you know, this may be someone who's coming back from the past for some of you because this person still loves you. They feel guilty for whatever it was they did. They know that there's unresolved wounds and that is very complicated and they want forgiveness. They want to be able to forgive and they want a new beginning. They want this situation to change, to transform, to ascend to, you know, new new dimensions. Okay, let's take a look at some love cards. Let's take a look at some love cards. What do we have? For Cancer, we have... Wow, okay. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah, you may have already been in, in a relationship with this person. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So follow your heart, Cancer. Follow your heart in this situation. For your person, we have when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I'm going to take one more for your person too. Three wanted to pop out for you, but I'm going to take one more for your person. Okay, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, that's beautiful energy, Cancer. Beautiful energy. Now let's take a look at the outcome of this situation. I'm going to use another deck. And we'll take a look at the outcome. Spirit, what is the outcome for cancer in this person? What is the outcome for this love situation? For this love connection? The devil. Yeah, you or this person is still binding yourself. It's time to free yourself from struggle so that you can move forward. You may still be holding on to grudges. You have the Ten of Swords. You, you may be still holding on to things that this person did or you did to this person. Because there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame. There's a lot of grief. You know? Okay. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse we have the strength card on the bottom okay cancer so i feel like there's a lot holding you back there's a lot binding you and there's a lot of grief of sorrow of feeling defeated in this person and i feel like it's keeping you both from communicating it's keeping you both from saying the words that you need to say saying how you truly truly feel what can cancer and this person 
do to fix this situation? What can they do, spirit? The moon. Let go of secrets. Expose the mysteries. Embrace the change. Trust your intuition. Trust each other. Definitely in the Seven of Pentacles. It's going to take work. It's going to take work and it's going to take patience. Um, and it may be time to heal. Will the situation be healed for Cancer? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. It will be healed, but it's going to take time. It's going to take time and a lot of change. But there will be a turning point. There will be a turning point because this, this person has feelings for you. And I feel like you have feelings for this person. This is definitely someone from the past. This is definitely someone who has unresolved feelings. Because you have the Six of Swords at the bottom. So with this change and re resolution comes moving away from the grief, from the sorrow. Moving into a better place, a better position. So, yeah, and you'll only do that if you follow your intuition and let go of these negative beliefs. Letting go of the past, of whatever this devil is binding you. And whatever this heartbreak is binding your person. Your person is on a, a, a journey of discovery. You know, they're trying to discover their situation. Yeah, you both need a new beginning. A new beginning in love. And then you will be successful. You need a brand new beginning. A beginning of innocence. And hope. Taking chances. Yeah. Okay, Cancer. Well, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And like I said, if you would let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this spread, it would mean so much to me. And until the next reading, Cancer, many blessings to you. Love and light.